Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. FOMC day today. We'll quickly go over what we're looking at here. Um, quiet, quiet European session. Euro was figure 30. Few little tiny move up to 30 to take out some weak shorts, I guess. I don't know. Or add some weak longs who are now going to get stopped out. Really a nothing trading session. Um, cable slightly higher up to 50. Uh, pretty good or better than expected manufacturing numbers. But still, muted session. Nothing to speak of uh, in the European session worth mentioning. Heading into the uh, North American session, we have ADP first. And then we have the U.S. stock market open, which will both be moderately interesting today, not very interesting. Uh, we do have Tesla earnings today, which need to be watched. There will be volatility on the release of those earnings. And, of course, we're waiting for the FOMC. There's going to be no change in rates. That's sort of the consensus opinion. And you just have to see how the market reacts to the statement, which will probably be pretty neutral, the statement. Maybe marginally hawkish or, like, just marginal changes today. But even with those marginal changes, I would argue that the last uh, FOMC was also marginally hawkish, but the market then, but the dollar got sold. You kind of see what the flock needs to do today. I have a funny feeling the flock is going to, whatever the statement is, they're going to perceive it as marginally hawkish and will be buying dollars. Uh, if we are buying dollars, obviously uh, euro and dollar yen are your two horses. Dollar yen has expiries at 110 and the 200 day at 110.24 today, plus this top side trend line at 110.43. Very, very powerful if we close above 110.50. But there's a lot to get through here. Euro, there's less to get through. And you could argue just a new low in Euro. Really, there's no real serious support to 119.16. So maybe more free flowing the euro. They're both pretty much the same kind of a trade, whichever one you feel more comfortable with. You want to attack. Uh, if they're dovish, I would argue dollar cad are, is the best setup. We had a nice little print down there at 03 in Europe. So dovish, you smash dollar cad. Hawkish, you buy dollar yen or sell euro. The charts in general are still pretty crappy. There's not a lot of other great setups out there that are relevant. So keep it light until the FOMC. And if the FOMC is a dud, that's fine. You know, we don't need to trade today. We only trade on good setups. So be patient. Uh, keep your powder dry. And good luck out there, boys and girls. I will see you tomorrow at the European Open. Ciao.